I'm Carl Mills. Welcome to Violin Construction Video 1. The goal of this video, I will demonstrate the process required to fabricate patterns used to build a violin from published plants. The tools you will need, a pencil, a ruler calibrated in millimeters, a compass, a square, plan of the instrument of your choice, file, bandsaw, a flexible curve, and an oscillating combination fence drum sander. The materials you will need is tracing paper, one quarter inch thick patterned material sized to fit your plan. Three pieces are required. 3M77 spray adhesive. Place the tracing paper, pattern blanks, and the plan in the same location for 24 hours before starting this procedure. This will allow the material to stabilize in the same temperature and humidity and reduce the chance of errors. Establish a center line. That runs the full length of the plate outline. Lay out the center line leaving a half inch of space from the edge of the paper to the center line. Locate the center line on your plan. Place the tracing paper with the center line on your plan and match up the two center lines. Once you have the center lines lined up, trace the outline of the plate onto your tracing paper. Locate the table of measurements on your plan or measure the top plate from the center line on the plan to the widest section of the upper bout. This is the upper bout and this is the measurement you will be looking for at the widest section of the upper bout. Check this dimension against your tracing to ensure that the plate outline is at the correct proportion in the upper bout. Do the same in the center section or center bout, in a lower section or lower bout. Using your plan Calculate the distance of the plate overhang, the part of the plate that will overhang the side material. In this case, is 3 millimeters. Add to that 3 millimeters the wall thickness of the side material, which is 1.2 millimeters. Set your compass to the sum of the distance of the plate overhang and the side thickness using the metric ruler. This will be the inside shape of the instrument. It will also be the outside shape of the fixture. This line right here represents that calculation. Determine the location of the end block, corner blocks, and neck block and draw those locations in place. The neck block finished size with both halves will be one and one half inches wide by three quarter inches deep toward the center of the plan. The end block will be three quarter inches deep toward the center of the plan and one and one quarter inch total width. The corner blocks are one and one quarter inch long by one inch, with the point of the corner being in the upper portion or outside corner 
of the rectangle that you lay out. Next, lay out your drilling locations. One eighth inch dial, one half inch lower than the neck block and end block toward the center of the instrument. One holding screw in between the dial pin hole and the block cutout for the clamping. In the center of the lower bout, inside the lower block corner block, inside of the upper bout corner block, center of the upper bout, and one half inch below the dial pin hole at the neck block location. To prepare your pattern blanks, size the material to fit your tracing. Sand one edge flat on all three pieces. Remove the sharp edges from around the perimeter of the pattern blanks. Using the 3M77 spray adhesive, spray one side of two of the blanks. Ensure the edges are aligned, then press flat with hand pressure to ensure that they stick together. Check your edges, make sure everything lines up correctly. Spray the top pattern with 3M77 spray adhesive, then add the tracing paper, aligning the edge of the paper to the edge of the pattern. Starting in the middle, smooth it out each direction to prevent wrinkling of the plan. Use a drill press to drill the 1 8 inch dial pin holes at the marked locations at each end, at the end block and at the neck block. 